Ooh. Ah. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. If the audio is crap, it's because my phone's pretty far away. But today, we're doing another shoe review. You already know what it is. So I'm going to put these aside and I'm going to talk about this stuff first. So I'm going to set this right here. So, Crep Protect. Go. This shoe cleaner basically is you, the shoe cleaner and protectant. Crep Protect basically has a line of products. If it comes with cleaners and stuff. Or you just want to get protectant spray on them. Now, the cleaners and stuff can come in bundles like full packs like this. Just packs. Or you can just buy the individual projects. If you just need the towel, you just get the towel. If you need the brush, get the brush. If you need this, get this. You want some spray, go get some spray. It helps keep your shoes clean. I sprayed it on these when I wore them last night. Also, the bottoms of these shoes are a little bit dirty, so let's hope that that's not a big, you know, flaw in the design and stuff. But yeah, so basically this stuff is called, here, let me get closer to the camera here. Quick. It's called Cure by Crep Protect. It's basically a line of shoe cleaner that you put on your shoes, you put on the brush, you tap the brush, or you tap the towel with it, brush off your shoes, it gets most, it gets almost all the dirt, all the stains and stuff out of it. There's also a scrape protector that you can rub off scrapes with and stuff. Um, so if you want to go get some Crep Protect, and by the way guys, this video is not sponsored in any way, but um, Crep Protect, if you would like to sponsor this video, you know, hit me up. So, basically you just put this stuff on your shoes and it's good. So go to CrepProtect.com, go pick up yourself a pack of this Cure with the Crep Protect Protectant, clean off your shoes, spray them, make them look nice, and rock those bad boys. Now, the moment you guys have been waiting for. The shoes. Guess. Yes, I did get a pair of guess shoes. I got these at Macy's. Now, these shoes come in like in the guest box. You know how most guest shoes come. These retail for around $70. And they you can really find them in Macy's or guest stores, places. Shoe places might have them. These are more of like a dress shoe, not like a walk around, wear them all the time, like sports shoe, like uh, sometimes has. But if you're looking for just a nice shoe to dress up in, like to make you, like to look nice in, these would probably be the ones. They mold to your feet, like the, the insoles mold to your feet. And let's just take a look at them. So let's take this out. It comes with the guess like wrapping paper it says guess all on, on all these lines and stuff now the shoe the shoe itself here i'm gonna get closer to the camera for this the shoe itself is called the lizard skin barrette 2. it's the guess los angeles versions and on the inside it's got the guess writing the black laces with the lizard skin and basically like i said in the, in the beginning the bottoms are a little bit dirty but it's got guess on the thing, like most guess shoes do. These I got at Macy's on sale. Macy's at the mall in Kennewick. And basically, you can get these on sale. They might have shoe sizes still. I don't know. But in the Macy's men's department in Tri-Cities at the mall, you can get these shoes for around 30 bucks. Now, they retail for 70 so if you're just trying to find a nice dress shoe and get something fast, I suggest going to Macy's or somewhere like that. Somewhere nice and just picking up a pair of guest shoes because these are comfortable once you break them in actually. And they get, they get to a certain point too where like they actually have a little bit of traction on them. They are like more flat shoes. They kind of look like, if you look at them right, they kind of look like Vans or Air Forces. But I feel like that's just a my opinion thing because I saw the back and it kind of reminded me of a pair of Air Forces. But yeah, so basically if you're looking for some shoes and stuff, go get go get these, some nice dress shoes. Also, say you've got really bad foot, foot stink, like your feet like sweat a lot, sneaker balls. Go get some sneaker balls at like a local shoe store somewhere. They will have these most likely. 
And basically what you do is, here, I'll go through this Pull out the shoe. There's a little notch on here. You twist it and it pops open. Throw it in the shoe. And then when you're ready to wear it again, it'll smell better. So, yeah. This one was a lot shorter video and I hope you guys know like why. But if you don't, I will let you know. So, I haven't really been able to do a lot of videos because baseball and stuff like that but when school actually ends i will be able to do more videos and stuff like that i'll get more videos out there or at least i will try to um it's basically a harder thing to do when you don't have a lot of subscribers or a lot of money to do like these things so anytime i have the chance to do these things i usually push them out but my uploading schedule has not been the best and i hope you guys know this so when I do shoe reviews and stuff like this, it makes so much more of a difference when you guys hit the subscribe, when you guys subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on post notifications. Because basically turning on post notifications lets you know when I do another, like, sneak review, plugs and stuff, all these other things. And today's challenge, actually, all I want you to do, there's not going to be a like go on, there's no challenges or anything. I just want you to go in the comments, tell me how your day was, tell me how your day's going. And videos you'd like to look for in the future. Alright guys. So. Without further ado. I'm signing off.